All right, uh, this is WTWX352, and I thought I'd do a video showing you my setup here. I've got a TYT9800, and I'm checking the power outage of this thing. So I had some trouble transmitting pretty far. Um, I have a uh, short cable right here connected to the radio. It comes out of this PC, and it goes into my Surecom watt meter right here. I had to get an adapter to connect it. And I have a dummy um, terminal right here, which is rated at 50 watts. The <coughs> TYT power output says that on UHF, high power is 35 watts, mid 2 is 20 watts, uh, mid 1 is 10 watts, and low is 5 watts. So I'm going to do a test right now. It is not connected to my duplexer. Uh, I'm connected straight to the radio. I just cannot connect the meter directly to the radio because you can see I can't get in there. It is powered by a 300 watt power supply uh, provided by a PC. Nothing else is hooked up in there. I wasn't using it, so all I'm using this case for is for my radio. So I'm going to go ahead and do a test right now. I'll show you. It's on low power. And I'll key up the mic real quick. And it's at 4.16 watts. If you can see that. That's low power, that's pretty good because the max is 5 watts. Now I'm going to change it to mid 2. This should be 10 watts. Let's see what happens. Uh, it comes up to 6.43 watts on mid 2, switch it to mid 1 which should be 20 watts max, and it comes up to 13. You see I'm losing quite a bit of power as I go up. It's on high now, and this should be 35 watts, and it comes to 17. That's quite a bit of power loss. <clears throat> Unless it's this cable right here, that's the only part that is connected between this meter and the radio. Now I have another one of these in my truck. I originally bought them for my cars. And I tested the power output and it comes out to about the same. So both radios are doing exactly the same thing. I never noticed this before until I had a problem uh, reaching uh, transmitting from home to my mobile to my truck about 30 miles away I can reach from my mobile here but this would not reach to my truck so it didn't make sense so I um, checked the antenna <coughs> um, I tested through the duplexer but for now um, it looks like it's the radio so I don't know what the problem is the only other solution is to take this out so I can connect this directly to the radio. I have to get another adapter to do that. Um, but I think this isolates the problem uh, pretty much to where these radios are just not putting out that much power on UHF. And I never tested this when I got it. I've had this for about three years. So I uh, decided to do this video to help you out, um, explain a little bit better instead of going back and forth. And I appreciate all your help that I'm getting on radio reference. Thanks a lot. WQWX352, out.